Alrighty, we are back with another review, and today we got You Gotta Have This Box 47 from GameStop, or You Want This Box, that's what they name it now. Uh, so without further ado, let's hop right into this review, and let's see what we got in the box over here from GameStop. Now, I do have it cut open already, because it is a rather large box. There is a speaker in here. Let me pull out the first item. Looks like we got a Cowboy Bebop BioWorld Snapback Hat. We already pulled this in. I think you got to have this box 37 or 38. And here it is right there. There's the lineup. There is Ayn and Ed. There's the Bio World Snapback. They also have this really neat design underneath the brim as well. Nothing on the inside, just standard snapback hat, Cowboy Bebop, Sunrise Phantom Funimation. So there we go. Let's see what the next thing we got in here is. We got a Daryl Philbin pocket pop that's pretty cool daryl's a great guy from the warehouse on the office definitely dig the show they must not have moved a lot of his pop uh, pocket pops so that's why we have one of those let's see what else is in here we got another luke skywalker dagobah uh series from the 40th wave of the empire strikes back and this is um one of those retro ones. We actually did a review on the channel with this. We unboxed them and everything. And my one complaint was they should have given you Yoda and the backpack instead of maybe the lightsaber and the blaster. Just my two cents in that regard. That would have made this scene probably a little more scene accurate, I guess you could say. But And I thought the face wasn't really Mark Hamill's face, uh, you know, in regards to that. But, I mean, I guess it did an all right job. So, again, it's a cheap Hasbro Kenner throwback figure. So, nothing too crazy in that. Let's see what else we got in the box here. Looks like we got another micro peely little Nerf gun from Fortnite. So this is a, a little pullback type of gun that you pull that little lever back and it shoots out your little dart right there as well. And here are some other ones. You got micro llama and the micro battle bus, which is this is the kitty version of Call of Duty Warzone. Basically, that's what Fortnite is. Um, let's see. It looks like we got one more item. Like I said, they haven't been doing too many items in these boxes, but what they've been doing is increasing the value in the ones that I've seen recently. So this one is this is supposed to be a sixty dollars speaker, and I have seen them for sixty dollars on eBay. So I do know that they have these at least for that price. And it looks like we have the Get Swifty speaker. So it's got some kind of uh, whatever that is, a peanut up there. It's got some coffin type speakers. It's got Rick and Morty on there. He's got his little tambourine. I mean, it's got all the cables up top up there. I don't know, we'll see. It's got Bluetooth, apparently. It's got a massive, Hout Powler Massive MD, 36 millimeter, whatever that is. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really. It's got an auxiliary input, rechargeable battery, control button, stereo channels. It's a licensed collectible. So they, they add $40 just because it's a licensed collectible. Um, I don't know how loud it is. I can't imagine it's too loud. There's just two little speakers on either side of that. So I don't know. And I don't even know if there's a place to put your phone. Maybe you can put them on top of Rick's head. I don't really know. But $60 speaker. Get swifty. Let's see uh, what we ended up doing. Look at a little review here of everything that we ended up getting. So we got the Daryl Philbin Pocket Pop Keychain. You gotta have this box, 47. So Daryl Philbin Pocket Pop Keychain. We got the Luke Skywalker Dagobah figure, which most of these items in here, like the Pocket Pop will probably sell for six, seven dollars. So not that big on this, but I did get $20 last time for this Cowboy Bebop hat. I got 18 bucks for the Luke Skywalker. I got $14 for the Peely. I have not sold one of these speakers, so I'm hoping, I mean, just with these alone, we'll cover the cost of the box, which is great. And then the speaker should kind of be the overkill thing right there. So like I said, I've sold these things before. And as long as you just kind of undercut the market price, which again, does drive the price down. Um, but if you want to get that quick flip in, you could just do that um, if you're listing these things. But again, this speaker's supposed to be basically twice the price of the box um, just for that speaker. So again, you do get your value when you when you buy these boxes. You got to have a means to move the items. It's not something that I would necessarily buy if I was trying to build a collection because you do get a lot of duplicates. Like I said, dupe, dupe, dupe. You know what I'm saying? And a pocket pop usually sells for probably six, seven dollars um, if they're lucky. And if this is something that's on clearance or something that 
GameStop's trying to blow up, then that means there's probably the market's flooded with them. So, why don't you let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of you got to have this box 47? What do you think of the items in here? Um, are you a reseller? Do you buy these to resell and flip? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this? Subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that and have a great rest of your day.